Hey everyone, and welcome to Create Above and Beyond. Welcome back everyone. So we are going to work on setting up some of our progression. So today we are going to work on a automating wood, sand, and kelp, which are pretty easy and standard create contraptions. So the in order to do the sand, uh, we will actually be using strainers, which I actually have two already set up. So, strainers work having water flow onto them so, and having the sediment strainer in, which are pretty easy to create. And then you also, I always put item hoppers with extra strainers so I don't have to maintain them too often. And they will drop down from there through a chute into a barrel where we have some collected currently. And we will work with this later because if we do, I believe, white sand, if we wash white sand, we can get clay. Uh, if we wash regular sand, it has only a 25% chance. So we we will want white or orange. Uh, the, the regular sand will be just part of our collection. And it's nighttime. Let's start with a kelp farm. Uh, so it doesn't really have to be that large for how much it produces and it just continuously runs while we build everything else that goes with this. Uh, it doesn't have to be very large. Uh, similar to the tree tree farm, it does not have to be a very big one, just enough to get you a decent amount of wood. So down here I have three water wheels at 256. I haven't gone to the nether yet, so I don't, I can't get that to 320 with uh, soul sand. So I have it coming off this way for our kelp, and then over here is another branch that will feed our tree farm. So both of those are now connected to a mechanical bearing. And then this already has some kelp put in there. So we'll add just a little bit more. I broke a few when I was digging out below this. And in here we will find what we're going to use. So we have a radial chastity, chassis, <laughs> chassis with uh, which are pretty easy to build as long as you have some andesite already. Uh, I'm going to use linear, which is opposite uh, recipe, and you get three a barrel and the mechanical harvesters, which do require an andesite machine, but you get two per. An andesite funnel and a chute. Again, andesite machine will give you, so you'll need to build a few andesite machines prior to actually achieving automation, because also the portable storage interface, which will transfer from this contraption into this barrel, will require a storage interface, which is an andesite. Luckily, you get two per andesite, so it fulfills the, the need. So, let's start down here. So we have our mechanical bearing. So now I'm going to put a radial chassis, and then I am going to build up from there. I hate that I can't quite see it. I don't know where that needs to be at the 
moment. So we are going to the glue, and then I'm going to there we go. I didn't want to go on that at first. I'm going to put some chassis. Three chassis. And then we're going to super glue on some mechanical harvesters. Alright. And so for me, I want the storage interface to be one high. I'm just going to stack it on top of the barrel Oops. so that it will they'll talk to each other. Uh, and I, I like them to, to back. Uh, that one would have worked. I just like how it looks when it's further apart. So, let's see. Did I, I forgot to add the glue. There's always one thing I will forget. Try, you try, you try. Uh, I'm here. That one. Hey, now, now, this should collect everything. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Plant some more where I know I broke some there. And it looks like there. And I'm just gonna add a bunch. And it breaks. And actually, can't do anything quite yet. So. I'm going to put, because I want it to go straight down, and I don't like how the andesite funnels look, I like how the chute looks after, like when it falls out, make sure that's the right direction, and there they go. And we'll just passively collect kelp, which will help us to develop andesite. Now we have a tree farm, and I'm going to put it here. Uh, we again have the mechanical bearing, and like I said for the kelp farm, they're both being ran off of one, uh, three water wheels up. So, all of the items for this all can be found in here. Again, you're going to need a portable storage interface to transfer the transfer the materials. Uh, we are going to need mechanical saws, which do require andesite and a saw blade. So you will have to have a press already so that you can get the iron sheets and you would have had to find lead. Uh, there's linear chassis, a deployer in a similar, you need the andesite with a gold golden hand four gold sheets and an andesite. I use two barrels because this does produce quite a bit of materials overall per tree since it chops down an entire tree in one swoop. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put that there all right? and then I am going I am going to build off up here, right to there, and I'm just gonna. Oh, I shouldn't put it there because uh, I can't get to the thing. I'm gonna put it right there, and we're just gonna ensure that it spins and which direction it spins. It's always, always a good idea to check which direction it is spinning so that you can ensure that you, in fact. will grab the contraption. Uh, I'm also going to use some andesite casing to build up because we will need to build up 
for this. So I guess I can this will make it a little easier. We're gonna go like uh, yeah, I think that looks good. So on this side, we are going to put I'm just gonna have two saw blades. So we're gonna put two saw blades. And then over here, we're going to put a the deployers. Let's uh, turn those so that they are in fact pointing down. Oh, so I need that. And then one of the reasons I added double jump, getting up here would have been impossible any other way. And I'm going to put a barrel and a barrel. Put the interface one more in. Like I said, it doesn't need to be. It would have. It would have worked. It would have worked just fine. But I, I like having them do the, the two. I didn't need the glue there. Place the glue. Put it again. There we go. And then, so the same setup for there. I'm going to put the chute here and the funnel there. And then there is uh, one last thing for this setup. So we're going to add a couple things. I'm going to add two filters for just the sapling so it doesn't try to plant the logs, it doesn't try to plant the apples, uh, that can get annoying. So you want to add the filter to that and then I'm just going to throw those in there. So now, assuming I remember to connect everything, uh, all of this should turn. It should go in this direction. And as it goes, uh, for this first time, these are going to plant the saplings behind the saws, and then the saws are going to keep going around until a tree grows. And then when it hits the tree, it's going to chop the tree, and when it breaks that block, it's going to break the entire tree. All of the items are going to be collected in that, those barrels, and dropped into this barrel. And I forgot to connect. Oh, did I forget to go? Oh, I forgot to connect right there. I bet that would be where more than likely, yeah. Now, now it should work. Yep, oh, there we go. And if we go and get some bone meal, because I'm impatient. Oh, the trees don't seem to take long to grow. I'm impatient. Let's grow, you know. Hey. And now, it, even though it does not have any trees really in there, the saplings were all let out here after it had planted them all. Every time it cuts down a tree, it will get enough saplings to replant the tree that it takes down. So as soon as this one disappears, one goes in and you have an automated tree farm. We have an automated kelp. And we do in fact have sand and clay automated down here, although it's very little. And the strainers are an andesite machine and iron bars. So really, if you can make six of these, six iron bars, the iron bars, you get 16. So as long as you have some iron, you can keep, you can make many of these and have them all lined up uh, along the shore. And you'll get quite a bit of sand and clay from that, which... In the end, will definitely help. There are several machines down the line that will require them. But yeah, that is 
that is where we're at. That is the tree and the kelp zombies. Tree and the kelp farms automated fully. And they're coming. <laughs> so now the next step will be the this progression. Well, actually, the next step and next episode will be automating andesite production, which will be at bedrock. Uh, it is before, until we can get the igneous extruder, it will be at bedrock. With water and lava, we can create andesite. That's episode one. So. Thanks for watching.